Welcome back to yet another World of Warcraft Mr. Pandaria Remix video. Today we are going over a speed leveling tactic, but also something a little bit of a bronze farming tactic here. Um, and that is boosting in heroic dungeons. Now that I, I know that it's been somewhat known about in, in you know, the Remix community on on forum posts and on reddit posts and things like that but i wanted to make a video covering this particular style of boosting but also farming bronze now the numbers that i've been able to get myself and for the people that i've seen actually also do this and send some info to me you can boost a secondary character or however many that you want to have you know, you can have up to eight characters on your Battle.net account. Obviously, you can only take a maximum of four alongside whatever character that you're boosting on, which is pretty, uh, you know, pretty interesting. And uh, your, your two options are maxing out a level 70, which is what I did. Also, because I've done a bunch of other content on this particular character. You can do a lot with a maxed out character, but... The other way of being able to boost in the remix through Heroic Dungeons is having a level 20. Now, we all know that you can't go any other place than Pandaria currently on the remix, which means you can't really stop your experience. But you can at the same time. You can have an account without game time or, if not without game time, you can have a starter edition account, which also doesn't have game time. But if you've had a, an account previously that doesn't have game time, you will not be able to get higher than level 20. Now, the good thing about that is you can actually gear out that level 20 and you can just max it out. You can do dungeons, you can do dailies and things like that. So you can actually make that twink over time really 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 powerful you can trade over gems spec out the whole thing if you've also unlocked all your rings your trinkets and your neck you can also get that on that particular alt which is super amazing right now as for the numbers to be able to get to 70 just boosting in heroics we are looking at anywhere from two hours to four hours i myself been able to do it in about three but that's also because usually I slack a little in between. I don't, you know, super hardcore grind it. And my character can still get stronger, which means I can actually still get faster. And maybe I can even make some faster speed builds to be able to go faster through these dungeons. But I don't know. You can probably fine tune it. And that's why I put it at two to four hours. I think it's more realistic to say that it's three to four hours. Just because of the fact that, you know, not everyone's at the same power level and it takes a bit to get there. But something that you have to be, you know, on the lookout for is on your alt, which is, this is very important because you can min-max the, the way that you get your experience. And what you want to do is you do not want to loot any of the bosses in these dungeons. Because what that does is it puts all the loot from all the bosses, it drops that in your mailbox. And that that means all the bonus experience tokens that you can get. It means all the threads. It means all the bronze that drops. All of that stuff goes to your mailbox. And what you want to do is, after a certain amount of runs, I usually do it around 40. What I would do is I would go in and I would get as much bonus experience that I can on that particular character that I'm leveling and then I would loot all the experience tokens in my mailbox and you can just pick through what you have in your mailbox and make sure that you only pick up the threads and not the actual experience tokens as long as you don't auto loot and that way you'll be able to min max as much as possible it will make it a little faster, but it's not something that's going to make or break it. You can also just loot along the way if that's what you want to do. It's not going to make it that much slower. I know some people have been big fans of actually bringing that character that you're leveling, like this one right here, bringing that through a world tour of raids, because if you do that, then you'll be able to increase the amount of bonus experience that you actually have on your cape. I'm not 
really that interested in that, so I haven't done that personally myself much. I, I usually just tend to, you know, I loot what I got from the dungeons, and then I just take it from there. Now, the other aspect, besides actually being really broken in terms of being able to level this way, you can also get bronze from this, because as we all know, when they nerfed the frog farm, they added a 40k total bronze quest into the game. And that is something that you can very easily uh, pick up once you reach level 70 on that ult. So you get that much bronze on an ult. Obviously, that really only matters if you're going for uh, collectibles because, you know, if you're farming bronze for your main, that won't really work if it's on an alt. But still, it's something that I would at least consider. And as you're leveling as well, you know, depending on your luck, depending on how much you loot, and depending on the kind of content that you do along the way, you'll be able to get an extra maybe 20 to 30k just from scrapping and opening boxes and boss drops basically throughout it. So the hourly bronze, it's not better than the max level farms that we can currently do, but you could probably expect if it's a three or four hour process, you could maybe expect somewhere in the ballpark of 15 to 20k bronze an hour, which is not better than some of the farms that we have available to us right now. So it's not something that I would do just to farm bronze, but if you want extra characters along the way and you also care about collectibles in this mode, then it's a really good way to go about it. Obviously, you do need a second account, and I want to point that out again. Um, just... You know, if you plan on boosting, you need at least game time on one account. And if you plan on setting up a twink, that is going to take a while. But it's also going to take a while to set up a max geared out tune. Just the same, right? It's going to take... It took a really long time for me to actually get enough bronze to be able to do this, right? And if you were to do it on a twink instead and you gear out that, that's also going to take some time. So... Just think about the fact that this is not going to be something that you can do instantly. This does take a little bit of setting up. But once you get to a really, really comfortable spot, it gets really good. Especially if you plan on doing multiple accounts, right? If I needed more, <laughs> if I needed more alts, I could all the, you know, the entire time that I'm doing this... I could bring all five of my accounts into a dungeon and I could be boosting four characters at a time. So in that aspect, it's actually really good. But I know this isn't the best situation for everyone, which is why I only really uh, talk about the fact that you can make a level 20 twink. I can't even speak. A level 20 twink. And once you have that, you can boost your main account, right? So you only really have to rely on a starter edition or no game time on a second account, right? Most people will have access to that. Most people can run that on a PC as well. So I don't think it's that unrealistic. Now, if you guys have any questions to this particular method, uh, any questions as to what you can do, how you want to do it, any numbers and stuff like that. It's still not fully finished, but I wanted to get this out to you guys also so everyone can, you know, uh, piece in with some feedback if they have some down in the comments below. And as we are talking about the comments below, make sure that you drop Remix as we do for every single video that we make on, <laughs> on this event, right? Type Remix down in the comments below if you made it this far into the video. And if you did like the video, make sure that you like the video as well. Click the like button down below. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you can get access and also notifications to any, you know, future video videos that we make on this event or future videos that we make on other pieces of content for World of Warcraft. But either way, I really appreciate you guys checking it out. Uh, that's going to be everything that I had for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So... That's it. I'll see you guys on the next one.